this comment kicked off a discussion about Mary, sister wives, and the way that she spent money. And I think it's a good discussion. I think, basically, I think everybody has really good points. And I also want to discuss kind of how the conversation has shifted over time. And when we first talk about it, we talk about the fact that Mary only had one child, and that does not make her lesser of a mother, but rubbed many people the wrong way that they talked about sort of splitting the money between the three wives when Christine and Janelle had uh, Janelle had six kids Christine had five and one on the way and Mary had one and many people myself included that the, said that the math of having them spread evenly was not fair that it should have been some sort of amount well first of all they, at that point they all lived in one household so household expenses like Cable, water, electricity, mortgage, all of that, boom, right off the bat, doesn't need to be split between them because they weren't in separate houses. And then beyond that, there should have been a certain amount of budget per adult and per child. And that's just fair. That's equitable. That's that's her fair share. And that was not what originally happened. Um, Mary also had a convertible, whereas the other ones had like run down SUVs and stuff like that. Um, and it became the, the wet bar which is what's referenced here, became a rallying point around early, um, around early sister wife fans because she insisted she had to have this wet bar and the wet bar was only, they were, they were getting it, they were getting the houses from builders and the builders had a set number of plans. And so if you wanted the wet bar, you had to go with a certain plan that was more expensive. And it was a house that she was moving into and her rallying cry was always, I don't deserve less because I had fewer children, which I agree as someone who was infertile, I agree, I don't deserve less. But by but what she was getting was proportionally more. And then later on, Mary's child went to go to very expensive private college and all that. The reason why you don't hear people still talking about Mary that same way is because uh, there seems to be this understanding that she was the she was the first of them to get really big into MLMs to go into LuLaRoe and was making a lot of money. And the assumption for many of us, and I don't know if it was ever ex explicitly said on the show, I think maybe when they moved to Flagstaff. Well, first of all, we know that her money went to Robin's house. So there went her money. Um, but was that, that about the time that she started renting houses and she was renting this enormous house was that she was paying for that herself. It was not coming out of family money. It was coming out of LuLaRoe money. And that's the reason why now in 2023 and season 18, we don't really talk about whether or not Mary's getting proportionally more or less because the assumption I think for many of us is that she has not gotten anything from the TV money in a long time and that all that she supports herself with her LuLaRoe. And this is the deal. If she is paying for it herself, if she has this enormous, gigantic house, incredibly expensive house, and she was paying for it out of the family funds. Yeah, that's not, of course that's not fair. Of course that's not fair. Why, why in the world is she, pay, why is Janelle living in an RV and she's living in a mansion? <clears throat> and of course the, the assumption would be that the reason they can't pay off, it was something they had it recently. I had a video and it was like 4800 or something like that. At, she moved out of the house. It got relisted. I think it was 4800. She might have paid significantly less than that. I haven't gotten to those seasons. But all of that would be dependent upon house money. And the fact is, I can't remember why, but we all kind of agree that she's not she's paying for it herself. And if she's paying for it herself, then Cody and no one else gets any input. And of course, there was a lot of discussion about her needing this for her um for her business, she had a lot of inventory. A lot of this came up when they were discussing the B&B &B and her buying it, and there was no money for her to buy it. Um, and she did it herself with, I think, her kind of her brother's help or something. And um, and so that that's, when we discuss Mary, that's part of the reason why, if you're a newer viewer, why we don't really, but there's a lot of history of Mary and money and kind of taking proportionally more assets and she had a lot more she had a lot more wiggle room in her in her budget she had a lot more wiggle room she always had more money available to her child she had a lot more money of all this stuff because she kind of got the a third or whatever so anyway i'm just sharing a lot of this is off the top of my head it is not the best memory but i just thought i would add to the conversation with some of my own thoughts about mary and money please feel free to add any of your thoughts um and be nice